Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tanji. Today is a very, very special show because we are launching a very important theme. Our Kababayan Today Filipino-American Community Hero Award. Napakadami po natin mga Pilipino dito sa Amerika at kailangan bigyan natin ng pansin ang ilan sa ating mga kababayan that are really making a difference in our community through the work that they do. Our first awardee of our Filipino-American Community Award is a math teacher from Barstow High School and Barstow Community College whose work has transformed the classroom model with his innovative website called Number Bender. His work was also recognized recently sa BETT show, which is the world's biggest education technology gathering held annually in London. Siya ay isang guro mula sa Louisiana, Laguna. Kilalanin natin ang kanyang napaka-inspiring na story dito sa Kababayan Today. Kasama natin si Gurong Peter Esperanza. Hello, Peter! Hi, G. Thank you so much for pa pa me. Pakamay naman! <laughs> pakamay din po. <laughs> Thank well, you so much. congratulations. Uh, you are our first recipient of this Kababayan Today Community Hero Award. Oh, and you. I just want to let you know that uh, ilan sa mga parents ang sumulat sa akin at nagsabi sa akin na kailangan makilala mo itong teacher na to because he's really making a difference at nakikita talaga namin na nag-i-improve ang aming mga anak dahil sa pagtuturo mo. Oh, kung sino man yung teacher. Oh, thank you po. Uh, so, let's talk about growing up in Laguna. Yes. Doon ka um, ipinanganak. Uh, pinanganak ako sa Marikina dahil taga doon yung nanay ko and then yung tatay ko taga Louisiana, Laguna. Mm -hmm. So, Tatay ang masusunod. So, pinalaki kami sa probinsya na doon ako lumaki, doon ako nag-aral. Nag-aral ako sa public school sa Louisiana, Laguna, and then Catholic school nung high school, and okay. then eventually sa Manila. Yes, Manila sa Lasal, di ba? Sa Lasal. Lasalista ka pala! Okay! <laughs> Go din Animo! Po. Yes! <laughs> Alright, so when you were growing up in Laguna, did you know that eventually mapapadpad ka dito sa Amerika? Um, since yung nanay ko, taga Marikina, and uh, yung mga pinsan ko, taga Marikina, and then pag summer vacation, lagi ako nasa Manila. So, exposed naman ako sa city living, kahit lumaki ako sa bundok, kasi it's, it's talagang bundok. Uh, Pero malinis ang hangin sa bundok. Super linis <laughs> ng hangin. Yung Louisiana is like the little bagyo of, of of, of Laguna kasi yung temperature niya is like Tagaytay. Ah. So I was lucky to grow up in a, in, in a town na fresh yung hangin, oh, oh. Uh, may kalabaw, oh, may oh. mga kabayong nag, uh, tumatakbo araw-araw. Oh, oh. So uh, masaya yung childhood ko kasi namulat ako sa simpleng buhay mm -hmm. ng, ng mga magulang ko at mga kalaro ko doon sa, sa, sa maliit na lugar ng Louisiana. Was it always something you wanted to do nung maliit ka pa na balang araw magmamigrate ako sa Amerika? Oh, Amerika. I thought sa Maynila muna pero uh -oh. wala. Um, wala sa plano mo? Wala sa plano ko ang Amerika kasi one, wala akong kamag-anak sa, dito sa Amerika. Um, Wal, walang esperanza or murillo na nandito that time sa Amerika kaya wala wala sa sa, sa isip ko yung uh, mapunta sa Amerika okay so yeah. this is something that just out of the blue happened let's talk about pursuing math as a profession paano nangyari yon alam mo ba na asin bata ka pa magaling ka na mag math <laughs> Yun nga yung sinasabi ko sa mga estudyante ko araw-araw na nung nag-aaral ako, math is my Waterloo. Yun yung weakest subject ko. At alam nung mga kaibigan ko yan sa Lasal, sa high school na pagdating sa math, huwag nyo nakasaan si Peter. Because just being honest, talagang mahina ako sa mathematics. I remember it when I was in high school, I was crying kasi I cannot add and subtract signed numbers. Kasi parang negative 2 plus negative 3, bakit negative pa rin pero nag-add tayo. So umiiyak ako noon and then uh, nung, uh, yung nanay ko kasi uh, sabi niya sa akin, you can do anything, kahit ano, gusto mag-doktor. So 
yun na sa isip ko be, very optimistic yung nanay ko kaya nakuha ko siguro yung character na yon so nung nag college ako gusto ko sa lasal talaga pumasok mm -hmm. and, very prestigious school and it's really hard to get into so um, gusto ko talaga pumasok sa lasal and then unfortunately since yung binigay sa akin course is yung B, double degree in mathematics and computer applications Kasi walang nagte-take ng course na yun. Sino ba naman magte-take ng BS Mathematics with Computer Science <laughs> right. ng high school, so uh, uh, mula sa high school. Kaya, because this was how many years ago? This was... 1997. Right. So, hindi pa nag-click-click yung, yung dalawang um, industries, yes. di ba? And as we know ngayon, it's all the rage. Yes. Uh, mathematics and computers, especially in uh, the world of statistics and the uh, combination of mathematics and computer. Kaya, siguro ano, tadhana, I think, fate, because pinalaki rin ako ng magulang ko na may takot sa Diyos, lagi nasa simbahan. And since ako wala akong alam na magaling ako, pinagpaubaya ako na lang, sabi ko, sige, kung ano ibigay sa akin ng lasal, go, I'll take it and I'll make sure I'll finish it. And nagsimula kami sa Lasal, like 30 students uh, taking up that degree. Four years after, walo lang kami graduate sa program. Wow, because I'm sure it must be really challenging, no? Yes. Okay, when we return here on Kababayan Today, kasama pa rin natin, sigurong Peter Esperanza will talk to him about the challenges of moving here to America. You'll be very interested in his story. Don't go away.